one. This is your boy BFS and you're watching the BFS channel. And I just had to get at you guys and gals and let you know what I just experienced so you can learn from my mistakes and you don't make the same mistakes that I made. That way you can save time because time is precious. All right, let's get to business. So what happened with me, I was in a situation Friday where I was up $4,000 plus and some guy, he, he was a, uh, he was talking out of his ego and my son, you know, received it. And he came to me and he was like, hey, look, you know, this guy said he was gonna whoop my eyes. Now keep in mind, my son is six years old. So he heard eyes. So I said, okay, son, what you want me to do about it? And he was like, man, I want you to beat him. So, you know, I know I should have been focusing in the market, but you know, my ego got the best of me. And I realized that, man, cause I'm aware. And so um, it won't happen again. I get on the sticks. And the game goes from my son being down 14 points to my son being equal and about to score and the guy decides to quit the game. So at this point, the devil has accomplished his mission. When I go back to look at my account, I went from being up 4,000 to being down 7,000. Yeah, that's a big, big move. 11-11, right? Big change. So for all the chosen ones, you know just what I mean whenever I say what I just said. For everybody else that's listening, this lesson, I want you guys to learn from this lesson and realize you have to be focused if you're in this game. Because if you're not focused, just in a blink of an eye, just from playing a video game, just from going to use the bathroom because you've been drinking so much water, you can miss out. So it's important when you got your money invested in this market to pay attention and I mean, be in and out. If you're in the market with options and things of that nature, and you know, you watch my video, you know, my last video I put out and I told you, you know, the market will go up and take your profits. I knew the market was gonna eventually drop, but I wasn't focused at the time. My ego got the best of me because my son coming to me and let me know how somebody really wants to do harm to his eyes. So that's my fault, you know. All I can say is it won't happen again. It shouldn't happen to you guys. If you got money in, in this game, you know, with options, you get in and out, you know? So if you're in it, you buy that morning when the market opens and you're up four or $500, take your profits. You're up a thousand dollars, take your profits. You know, if you know you can't be focused looking at that screen, take your profits then, and then you can come back later and look. Yeah, you might sometimes be like, man, if I would've stayed in it, I would've been up X, Y, Z. But sometimes you can go back and be like, oh, I'm down seven grand, you know? Well, really it's 11 points win, so 11 grand at that point. I just want, you know, to educate my subscribers so this won't happen to you guys. Also, what to expect. I know that next week, the market will probably do similar what it did on Friday. So Monday when the market opens, the market will go up. I wouldn't expect the market to stay up longer than 10.30 a.m., you know, but the market will be up when the market opens. You gotta be ready to take your profits just like on Friday. Now, the market will eventually go down off of news of the government not pausing. Basically the percentage, the percentage going from 70% to maybe 50%, you know, or 60%, you know, and this nervousness uh, government pausing will cause the market to go down right before the government announces the decision. Now this decision will be to pause ultimately, and this will be a great decision that will send the markets higher. But for my chosen ones, I know you're not fearful, but for others watching that don't have the faith in them, you know, don't be scared of things that you might hear about the market, you know, selling off after it just went up on Monday morning, you know, that's just gonna happen. But like I said, you have an opportunity in the first hour to take profits Monday morning before it goes down. Now, when the market closes, expect Oracle to be on their earnings report and I expect them to be up when the market opens on Tuesday morning. Wednesday, I expect the government, you know, to say what they gotta say to make the markets go higher. And then I expect on Thursday when the market closes, Right before they close, I buy Adobe, and then I expect Adobe to beat on earnings report and for them to jump as well. Monday morning, you have Oracle, and Thursday you have Adobe. So, and then Wednesday you have the big Fed speech. So if you wanna take advantage in stocks, you can do that. Now, if you're asking BFS what our strategy is, our strategy like MSTR, <laughs> MicroStrategy, yeah, they're a strategic company as well. My strategy is going to be dealing with 
Bitcoin, crypto, you know, Ethereum. That's where my focus will start to head. I'm gonna do some business meetings with some people and talk to some people to try to find out more. But that's where the wave looked like it's about to head with this meeting coming up and with the pause coming up. Bitcoin having coming up, that's where you're gonna expect like the final payoff. But you know, pretty much getting in now, this is like the, the start off. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment and I will get back to you now. Also, I would like to say, if for any reason that you feel that you don't know anybody that you can send my video to and share and ask them to subscribe, then meet some new friends, okay? We need to build my page, okay? And if we're not building this page, it's because you're not doing your job. You're not sharing. Now, for those of you who are sharing, man, I appreciate that. I'm talking about the ones who say that they love me and their family and they be tight and this and that, and they ain't never shared my video. Come on, man. How you saying we tight and you ain't ever shared my video? How you gonna say we cool? How you gonna call me up and ask me to do you a favor and you ain't ever shared my video with nobody? Come on, man. Well, what are we doing here? All right, okay. All right, so share my video. Let's get on. We're trying to grow this business. For those who have shared my video, man, I love y'all. I know y'all down, I know y'all family. You know, I'm talking to ones who ain't ever shared my video. So, you know, you know you, you include it. So don't think I'm talking to you because my words do pierce the soul, but that's just God in me. With that being said, stay tuned. I will be dropping some new content real soon. And there you have it, folks. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas.